Good morning, Longhorns. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Longhorns. This is Mr. Carlson with my selection for Women's History Month. In 1849, Elizabeth Blackwell became the first woman in the United States to be granted a Doctor of Medicine degree. Blackwell began her pioneering journey after a deadly ill friend insisted she would have received better care from a female doctor. Now, she was turned away by more than 10 different medical schools, but she refused to give up, ultimately attending Geneva Medical College in Western New York. The male students there agreed to admit her thinking it was just going to be a prank. In 1859, she co-founded the New York Infirmary for Indigenous Women and Children to Serve the Poor. The hospital, just like the Women's Medical College in New York Infirmary, where she created in 1867 and many others, encouraged women hoping to pursue careers in medicine. The reason why I picked her is coming up next. Kids, this is my mom, a retired nurse of over 40 years. Without Miss Blackwell, I don't know if she becomes a nurse. Sneakers. <laughs> Got sneakers. Period. Got sneakers. Period. Good morning, Longhorns. 
first off, I'd like to thank all of our students, teachers, and staff for working so hard together the first semester in our fight to stay safe from the COVID-19 virus. It certainly has been an adjustment and created a unique learning environment that we haven't seen before. But I'm so proud of the way our JLMS herd has handled the challenge. Please remember that the best ways to protect ourselves from the virus are to wash our hands with soap and water frequently, use hand san sanitizer, practice social distancing, and of course, wear our face masks appropriately covering our nose and our mouth. Also, remember that if you need a face mask break throughout the day, please ask your teacher. So stay alert and safe. And through it all, be proud of yourself, your resilience, your determination, and your ability to adapt to extreme circumstances. Whether you are online or in the classroom, you are part of the JLMS herd and we stand together. So let's finish our school year strong with a great and safe second semester.